we self-inflicted injuries to ourselves. I thought we turned Las Vegas's momentum around. We're, we're going to regroup and, you know, we're, we're going to be a good football team. Don't doubt that for a second. As was the case after their loss to the Rebels Saturday night, Warriors head coach Greg McMackin not pulling any punches today at his weekly press conference. But not hanging his head either. Coach Mack determined to get the squad back on track. Now doing so will mean correcting all the mistakes on the field that the team made. Cleaning up the areas they underperformed in. Namely, well, turnovers, four fumbles, and all those penalties that set UNLV up on offense. Also, very importantly, making sure the team's response defines its season, not the loss itself. They're going to learn how to deal with adversity. Ohana, come close together. Don't listen to other people. Uh, just listen in this room. Believe. All those things that make a team. You know, this, this it, it seems crazy. This may make us a better football team. Uh, than if it didn't happen. I believe how that could be the case. All right, if the team is going to get better, they're going to have to overcome some mounting injuries. Maya Ostrowski may miss his second game due to that foot injury, and Haku Correa uncertain for UC Davis. Well, here's some surprising news. The Mountain West Conference and Conference USA reportedly in discussions about a football-only merger that could create possibly a 22-team super conference. Now, Hawaii would be affected by this, obviously, because they join the Mountain West next year. All right, let's play some NFL football, huh? Rams and the Giants, former Warrior Greg Salas, three receptions for 23 yards, but his moment is this 30-yard return on the kick. Not bad. Also not bad, Dominic Hickson. He's on the receiving end of this Eli Manning 22-yard touchdown pass, and just watch it. Off the chest, maintains his concentration. Touchdown. Giants win 28-16. Everybody, let's talk sports. At least the main characters from the movie The Hangover couldn't remember most of their calamitous stay in Las Vegas. For the UH football team, however, there's no erasing this past Saturday's 20-point loss to UNLV. Favored by 18 points going in, Hawaii fumbled the ball away four times en route to a 40-20 decision against the Rebels. At his weekly press conference, Greg McMackin did not hold back when asked if this was his worst loss as Warriors head coach. Oh, absolutely. This, this is my most disappointing loss. This game, we just got beat. Now, that, that concerns me. I really believe that uh, the mistakes that we made were self-inflicted in as much as the penalties, in as much as the fumbles. Uh, they were at key times. And it, and it was enough to psych up the other team who was waiting to be psyched up. We played good in spurts on defense. Uh, we did some good things in spurts. Uh, offensively, uh, it, we've, we've got to get our protection together. And uh, special teams-wise, we fumbled the ball twice. And, and you, you, can't, you can't do that. Now, the road schedule has not been kind to McMackin, who's had to deal with back-to-back -back road games in each of his four seasons as head coach at UH. The Warriors have remained on the continent between weeks each time, but are now just one and three in the second game of those swings. Most of those trips were scheduled by former athletics director Herman Frazier. Coach Mack says it's something he'd like to see change. It's not scheduling for success, I'll promise you that. You know, we were there too long, I think. Uh, I don't I don't want to do that again, but uh, there are no excuses. Just like there's no crying in baseball, there are no excuses in football. Next for the Warriors, FCS opponent, UC Davis. Aggies are also 1-2. and two. Kickoff Saturday is set for 6 p.m. at Aloha Stadium. Monday Night Football had the Giants hosting the Rams. Former UH Warriors slot back Greg Salas filling in for the injured Danny Amendola as the St. Louis punt returner had a forgettable moment, though, here in the first quarter. With the Rams up three zip, Salas muffs the kick. G-men recover, and that led to a New York touchdown. The fourth-round draft pick caught four passes for 27 yards, but also had a couple of drops in the reception. Receiving department as well. It was Giants receiver Dominic Hickson who had the grab of the night, though. Somehow coming down with it after the hot potato action here. Pretty sweet stuff. Giants would win 28 to 16.